welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. This is a perfect start to a Saturday. Oh. I forgot that I ordered this one on Amazon because the price was better. But this is the Times or Tim's gingerbread candle that I was telling you about. The packaging is really cute. Has this string and then this little like gingerbread house charm hanging from it. Mmm, it smells really good. And then this is nothing that exciting. I wanted to change out my cover for my laptop. So I went ahead and got this green one. I'm gonna throw this on and then I'm going to start getting ready for the day. Oh my goodness, you will never believe what I'm shivering. Um, what just went down for the last hour and a half. So I broke down those boxes from the Amazon shipment and last night's delivery and I ran out into the garage to throw them in the recycling bin and for some reason the door locked behind me. I was locked out side in my pajamas and my bare feet and it's 27 degrees and Steven's not home. I don't have my phone. I don't have anything. So praise be to Volvo because I got in my Volvo. Actually, I tried to pick the lock first. I broke apart a pen. I literally tried everything. Um, then I got in my car and I kept trying to connect to the Bluetooth because it would come on, but you couldn't like start the ignition, but it would like the screens would come on. And I was able to connect to my Bluetooth and keep calling Steven, but the connection was so bad that we couldn't communicate to each other. So then I started digging through my car and for some reason in my glove box was my old iPod touch and it was dead. And I plugged it into my Volvo and eventually it charged and I was able to sign into FaceTime and FaceTime Steven and tell him that I was locked out. Anyway, he goes, there's a key in the garage freezer. And there I opened up the freezer and there was a key, and, but I didn't know we kept one in the garage freezer. Um, so I was outside in 27 degree weather in my pajamas and no shoes for an hour and a half and I'm so cold. Now I'm trying to warm up and whew, 
So my day has been slightly postponed. I was hoping to be at Pottery Barn by now, but right now I'm just going to get warmed up because my uneventful Saturday turned into something quite eventful. Hey everyone, I was just getting ready and I thought I'd give you a really quick time-saving tip. If you wear daily contacts, break them apart and put them in two bins, left and right. That way when you're getting ready in the morning, you could just grab them. Um, it really does save a lot of time. Okay, so I am ready to head out um, to Pottery Barn and do a little bit of shopping. I am keeping it super simple. I'm just wearing this white thermal, my black North Face jacket, some skinny jeans, and then these John Varvados boots that I picked up at Nordstrom's last year. I'm gonna throw on a scarf. All right, I am all set to go. Let's head to Pottery Barn. All right, you be good. You be good? Bye-bye. Last minute scarf change. I went to something a little bit more holiday-ish. Um, a lot of you are asking me about the Louis Vuitton trunk phone case. I am in, honestly, a love-hate relationship with it. A, it looks incredible, so stylish, such a cool accessory. I can't put my phone in my pocket. Um, it's really heavy. Um, I don't know. If there are days, which you'll, you obviously I'll see because a lot of you will comment on it, there are days that I do not use it just because if I'm at work and I know I'm gonna be on the go, I wanna be able to throw it in like my dress pants. Um, and this honestly like weighs down <laughs> your pants. So I don't take it on those days simply because, hold on. Simply because, because it is just so heavy. Someone mentioned listening to Lindsey Sterling's Christmas album, and I'm so glad you mentioned it because I'm really enjoying it. Uh, Lindsey Sterling is a violinist, but she's very contemporary and modern, um, and I'm really... I'm really enjoying her Christmas album. There are a couple songs with vocals, but most of it is instrumental. All right, so we are on our way to Pottery Barn. Now that we've already had one debacle for the day, let's see what else we can get ourselves into. I need to wash these jeans. I got them yesterday, and uh, they're a little too big, which is an awesome problem to have, so. I need to wash them and try to shrink them a little bit. I am still freaking out about Christina Brawley putting me on her Instagram stories. The huge thank you is to all of you who told her about the channel um, because I know it came up and up on her YouTube comments uh, that you were all watching me. So thank you. Keep sharing the channel. Keep spreading the word. That's how we grow the community. And I'm just greatly, greatly honored and so, so excited. Thank you. Thank you. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way. I want to tell you about a random act of kindness I've been doing, and I started it last year, and I think it's become my new favorite. Um, so when I entered the mall, I saw a Salvation Army volunteer ringing the bell, and it's super cold outside, and she was all bundled up. So what I've been doing now is when I ordered my coffee on my mobile app, I also ordered a hot chocolate. And on my way out, I gave her the hot chocolate as well as put my donation into the basket. And she was so appreciative of it. Um, and I just thanked her for taking the time to do that volunteer work. And yeah, it's a really great one. And I encourage you to do the same. They're out in the cold for such a good cause, raising money. What's ordering a little hot chocolate to give them on the way out? Um, so yeah, and it felt really good and she was so excited and so appreciative and it was just this really great moment between us that we got to share. I decided to just throw this robe on to just give it a try. Oh my gosh, it is the softest thing on the planet. Um, all right, I'm gonna get my reed diffuser set up and then Bubby and I are going to cuddle. Set it right there. 
Yay! The light bulbs came for the light in the office, and I just gotta show you one more time. How good does that look? I am so glad we chose to put it in the office and not the dining room. It's just perfect in here. I love it so much. I think we're gonna put it on a dimmer switch. Steven said about installing one so that we can control that a little bit more. Our runner just came for the kitchen. I'm so excited. Um, let's go ahead and get this down. Here is the runner. I actually bought a 13 foot one. So that is it. I have my Martha Stewart books weighing it down. Um, it will get really flat pretty quickly. Um, so it's this runner with this rug now. So they all go together. It just looks really nice. I am so annoyed because when I got home from the mall, I actually opened some packages and shared what I picked up there and then realized it didn't record it. So real quick, I'm going to show you what I picked up at Pottery Barn and Lush and also some things that came in the mail that I think you'd really want to see because they're really cool. One thing I picked up at Pottery Barn is this beautiful mercury glass reed diffuser and it's winter forest, so it's very piney. Um, and spicy and warm. Then their robes were also on sale, so I bought this. I think it's called the Sherpa Faux Fur Robe. Um, they were all 20% off, so you got like such a great deal. Plus, I had a rewards coupon, um, so I picked it up. I've already tried it on. It's absolutely amazing. Something that came in the mail that I know you'd all want to see, and I'm gonna start diving into it tonight, is Simplify Your Holidays, a Christmas Planner to Use Year After Year by Marsha Ramsland. Address book for your Christmas cards that you're sending out. And then it's also just filled with tips. Uh, decorating photos so you can record how you decorated so you can look back and then do the same thing and remember where you put things. I actually already do that. I take photos of our Christmas decorations and then log them so that I know where I put things each year. Entertainment organization and party planning and foods and then there's a section for just through December 1st through the 25th inspiration. So on each day is a Bible verse and then some inspirational story and it leads you into December. Then there is a whole food section where you can record recipes and take photos of it. I'm going to start setting this up tonight and then I'll give you guys a more detailed walkthrough but I'm really excited to use that. I also picked up a bunch of things from Lush and Aveda. So I wanna really quickly show you what I have up there. I wanted to show you what I went ahead and picked up at Lush. For those who missed it in my other Vlogmas, this is how I store my bath bombs. I just keep them in a gold bowl. I really splurged on this bowl. It was at Goodwill for $1.99. So I bought a Galactic, a Golden Pear, Golden Wonder or Christmas Wonder, it's really citrusy. My favorite at Lush this time of year is the Christmas sweater. It's really cinnamony and clovey and spicy. The same can be said for this one. I think it's called Metamorphosis, maybe. But I picked that one up. I have a Thunder Snow, which smells like a chocolate milkshake. Another Avo Bath. Um, I forget what that one is. And then my favorite thing from Lush this season is the, it might be Christmas Wonder. It has a cinnamon stick. It has cloves in it and star anise. And it's a really great bubble bar. What's awesome is you can run this under your tub and you don't have to use it all at once. I usually get two to three uses out of it. And I just keep all my bath bombs right there. And then I have this other ledge that was built and that's where I house like all my other things that I use during a bath. And as you can see, I have quite a collection, but I wanna show you some of the new things that I got today. It's replacing my love for rosemary mint, and it is clove, it is an awesome shampoo. It makes your hair feel so clean. I also picked up from Pottery Barn this Holiday Spice bath salt. It smells like cinnamon and cloves, it's so, it just screams holiday. They also had the holiday spice bath bombs and I bought those. So I'm fully stocked. And then you guys know I love the Crabtree and Evelyn, the source line, but that's really how I keep all my bath stuff out. And 
easily accessible, and just the way I like it. Those are the things that I picked up while I was out today. I'm really excited about it. I got a great deal at Pottery Barn. They had 20% off everything, plus I had rewards points. I think I got the robe, the bath salts, the bath bombs, um, the reed diffuser. I got it for all like $104, um, so I did really, really well. Does it look okay? I think it looks okay. What do you think? Here, let me look. Yeah, I don't think we put it on a dimmer. It's already pretty dim. Yeah. No, I think that's perfect. I really do really like it. Mm -hmm. I know it was such a pain, but it looks really good. Oh, I also put ornaments in the lamp. It looks really festive. What time do you want to go to dinner? Um, like 5.30. And where are we going? I got a Christmas planner. I know, I saw. I'm really excited about it, but it, look how bent up it is. Is it new or? Yeah, it just came in the mail, but it came, I bought it off of Amazon, but it came like in like, what looked like someone's, like someone else packaged it up. Steven is taking me out to dinner to celebrate a successful week at work. And um, we just got dressed and ready. I'm doing black sweater. Um, the capsule wardrobe is going really well. One thing I have bought that I'm just gonna keep in seasonally are a couple flannel shirts just for warmth. But I'm wearing um, a black sweater with that underneath and it has like a little bit of like a black plaid. And then those skinny jeans I wore today, I'm gonna wash them and try to shrink them when we get back. And then just some black quilted leather shoes. I'm gonna throw on my North Face coat with my black uh, free people scarf that I am obsessed with and we are going to head off to dinner um, Yeah, I talked to mom to tell her about my debacle in the garage What she said That she can't believe it. She's like you have to be so cold right now. And I was like I am And then I did tell her I was like if you and I get bored over Christmas, you're always welcome here She's like, okay. So my mom asked if they were coming. I said, I don't think so, but I don't know. I don't think they are. Um, they have room. When is your, um, you're going out on Monday night then? Yeah, she's going to get here around 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I told her we would go out for drinks. We'll probably come here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like too far. I can't leave you doing your own devices because you locked yourself out of the house. What's the car of the day? I'm going to spend that much on a car and not buying a Volkswagen. Why don't you just get a Mercedes? I really like that one. What? Plus, they'll give us a better deal because we're loyal there. The GLA. Oh my god, I just saw a review on the XC40 and it's awesome. Really? I need I'll to get show, out I'll show you the, Yeah, you do. I, I'll show you the YouTube clip. It is awesome. I really want to go like in July to pick up the car. Yeah, you have to get moving so they can No, they should plan it. really should go this week and talk to them. But I mean, what's your name? Yeah, but they're, she, they're all not, Everyone is nice there. That whole dealership is the nicest people ever. So we are back from dinner and it was delicious. Now, before I put on my pajamas, I am going to make a cup of coffee and then I'm going to start editing and um, uploading this footage so that I can get it up by 8, 8.30 would be the goal. Um, I feel like I'm one of the few vloggers who are actually doing the day. So you are really getting a real live account of what my day is going like, um, which I'm really excited. But I will tell you, I was just telling Steven at dinner, I'm excited. I'm having fun with Vlogmas, don't get me wrong, but I am excited for it to be over <laughs> because it is a lot of work. So I'm gonna make some coffee, get my pajamas on, edit, upload, and then relax. I've made my cup of coffee with my Christmas cactus Starbucks mug. I have my new Pottery Barn uh, robe on and then these awesome Christmas cactus pajama pants that are way too long, 
but I'm super excited about them. Now it is just time to edit and upload. So I will leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, Bye bye